Hey, my little stars and plants, it's me, Chibi Saturn here, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. And yes, I'm on a stall horse. Um, um, when, after I ended the last video, I started doing the compendium. I started compendiuming all my items. Um, so I have a few things. Like, you know, I got, you know, just the stuff that we have on hand currently. I took a photo of some of the monsters. Um, wait, there is... Wait, where is it? Here it is. I took a photo of these things from earlier. Apparently they're little frogs? That's so fucking... I don't know, man. But, um, yeah, but then I came across the stall horse. Actually, I came across the, um, a herd of them. Uh, I deleted all the photos, but... um. Yeah, there was just it was just a nice little herd of them, and I was like, "Oh my god, a herd of you know, skeleton horses! It's so cute." Um, but then like three um, stall book goblins on stall horses attacked me soon after this photo was taken, and I annihilated all of them. Um, also, I didn't I um, didn't realize this, but the photos that Zelda took are here in the camera. Like if we go to the camera. These are the photos that um, Zelda took, and then here's the photo of the statue that we took. Um, I am going to head to the surface. That is my next main objective. But as I was fighting the stall enemies over here, I noticed some flames in the distance, and I noticed what looks to be a enemy outcropping over that way. And you know what? I feel adventurous. So we're going to uh, attack this, whatever this is, and hope that we don't die. Uh, if I just shoot this with the eyeballs, it's, it's going to home in on you, right? Yeah. -ya. This is probably a really bad idea. Take that. Oh, fuck! Shit. Oh, there's three of you. Is what are you covered in stone? I'm just gonna back up here. What are you? They look like they're covered in stone. Link, run. Just run, Link. <laughs> run. This was a very... Oh, this was a very bad idea. Okay, archer over there. We gotta get out of the archer's range. Oh, you got fire. Wait, are you wearing... What the fuck are you wearing? Okay, um... It's just because there's three of them, and they do, like, permanent damage if I get, like, hit. Oh, there goes my... My bow. Oh, fuck me! Oh, ho, ho. Oh, fuck. Okay, now that there's just one of them, maybe I can just... What? No, don't leave! Come back, you coward! I know it's kind of ironic calling them a coward when I, all I was doing was running. But, like, I'm literally in the... Oh. Okay, then. Um, actually... Uh... Can I freeze these guys? Hey, buddies, come over here. I got a surprise for you. Oh, don't fuck me. Okay, so you have armor. Okay, so that's like armor, armor. Like he's look, look at his little yellow health bar. Um, well then, where are my bomb flowers? Oh, ho, ho. did that destroy his armor? It did. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. you're about to get annihilated, my friend. Oh, three hits is all it took. Oh, ho, ho. now we're starting to get into it. Okay. See, I would be better at combat if I had more hearts, because I'm not that good at combat, so I'm usually... My combat style is usually tanking a few hits, 
and then annihilating my enemies. So, with with the little hearts that I have, I don't do a lot of damage. Gotcha. One hit. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try the eye on you. Eye is pretty handy. Oh! My construct bow is da badly damaged. Jesus, I was just been using it for a couple of seconds. Uh, the Sunday Lion. We already got one of these. Who? Um. Well, it's probably damage because I'm using my well because the bow and arrow seems to be my new best friend. And yeah, I could have just set that down and hit it. I didn't have to arrow it, but arrowing it is actually kind of fun. I'm gonna switch over to this. Uh, oh, grab that. There we go. It's probably damaged, but... Oh! Oh! What are you? I can't compendium you. That's interesting. Are you friendly? A po! A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Oh my goodness, yes. Come here, you little pose. Oh my god, you're so cute. Much cuter than those fucking gremlin little fuckers from Twilight Princess. Like, fuck those guys. Uh, okay. So we, we made it out pretty good. We didn't die, like, at all. I mean, we got two hits, but I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I. Sorry, I'm literally just like... Also, I, I'm just kind of pissed that this Bokoblin arm is 20 damage. Was Is it 20 damage in Breath of the Wild? I swear to God. But I'm pretty sure it's like still fragile as hell. Uh, we're, Let's get this Zonite and then we will return to the surface. And we will we will return to this place to um explore more probably. Oh no, my boulder thingy is badly damaged. Well, it means I'm gonna have to find another rock. I just need to find a rock and then, yeah, there we go. Um, what else can I use? I mean, I could use the Flux Smasher. I don't want to. Use the axe. Let's see if that works. Collect this. Oh, there's here. So let's get this first. Arrows, hallelujah. Um, I already got the stuff in that chest. Uh, there's Zone Knight over here, right? Get these arrows. Okay, yeah, there's there's deposits right here. Um, yeah, see that? I don't. Okay, I don't want to waste my durability on that. Are there any rocks nearby? I just need like a rock or a boulder, and then I can turn one of my weapons. Is that a usable boulder? Okay, we'll we'll re we'll return once we return to the surface. Let's get these pose over here, and then we'll head on up. Oh. 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 Okay. Um, there are two things that are concerning me here. One. What the hell is that? That is clearly a head, shoulders. Uh, I don't know about you. But I see the top of a large person and then there's that what the hell is that okay let's grab these pose apparently i don't need to sneak up on them but what the hell is this you're seeing this too right i oh oh um traveler spear a spear Used mainly by travelers to fend off wolves and other bees. It's easy to hold and simple to use. Okay, then. I guess I just freed that spirit. What are you? Oh, wait, here. Um, I don't think it'll make it, but... <laughs> oh, I, I overshot it. I overshot it by a mile. Man, these arrows could actually go... Is that thing much closer than I thought? Because apparently it's much closer than I thought. I'm going to just shoot directly at it. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm such a fucking idiot. It's a fucking tree. It's a tr I thought it was a giant statue or something worse. It's a tree. I'm so dumb. I'm so dead. Okay. Bro, at, at this point, it's just... I, I'm just so paranoid about the darkness. I'm so paranoid about the darkness. I'm literally seeing things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Oh wait, no, that's, that's not Lookout Landing. This is Lookout Landing. Here I am to save the day. Oh, hello, bird person. Ah. Pen. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from the Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Uh, it's Link. Mm. Link, you say? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. You got the same name as the famous swordsman. Ha! Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. I'm Pen. My, by the way, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about the this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flop all over the place to cover the news. Hey. We could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Herba to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to the Rita Village. Stop by if you're up for some adventure. The adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, so long. Okay. He's got puns. I immediately hate him. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, is he gonna be our Kaz? Is he gonna be our Kaz for this adventure? Hey, you! Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches pretty well and looks darn cool, too. Yeah, it's this fucker. This is it! This fra- This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people, um, uh, showing people of some sort, whoever they were, which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you. Thanks for helping us at this stage of my investigation. Um... On earlier surveys of the depths, found all of this. What do you think it's for? Don't I? Yeah. I'm just gonna take this. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange po power. Like maybe it's energy or something. Anyways, might help you in your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully you'll find them useful. That fragment was helpful. Has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of the mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our survey team brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles? Swordsman? Thank you so much for going investigating in the depths for me. Yeah, now we have the camera and the compendium and we can start our adventure. So yeah, so they want me desperately to go over here to the Herba region, because they were- oh, hold on. Uh, adventure log, crisis of the castle. You must find me. Ah, uh, regional phenomena, that's the main quest. Okay. So yeah, so they want me to go over here, because they're like, oh, you know, people have sighted her in the Herba region, and oh, the cassette, you gotta go to the cassette. You know, don't get me wrong, I love the Rito. Don't get me wrong, but fuck Rito Village. I'm going to Zoro's Domain, which is over here, and I'm saving Prince Sidon. <laughs> I'm sorry, he comes first. He does. 
Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I want to do before setting out? Well, actually, where the fuck are we? Okay, so we are here. How many blessings do I have? I have two. Okay, I need four to get an upgrade. Oh, and you can see the effects of the gloom are gone. Uh, so I can heal up with a food item. There we go. Because I'm wondering if I should go and hit up Kakariko Village and Hateno Village first. Um... I don't know, because, like, well, I, I, you know what? Yeah, okay. I have not been to Hitano Village or Kakarika Village yet, so we're going to go head on up and hit those up. Just because, well, do I have any purple things on me anyways? I don't have the rush rooms. I guess I'll have to, well, oh, I have these. These look purple enough. Because I need to get my clothing dyed. Because I love the Hylian set, but it's just, it's not my color. So, oh, actually, perfect time for a compendium. The Boss Book Goblin. There we go. We're gonna avoid fighting him though, cause um, he's a boss, <laughs> and I'm just a weakling. My sword barely seals the darkness. Uh, I'm gonna equip this though. I will kill them though. Let's go kill them and see if they have any worthy weapons and shit that I can steal. Oh, uh, compendium. Okay. The high high rule herb. This healthy herb has not changed since ancient times. Cook it before eating to increase its you know, blah blah blah. Can I get over behind this wall without them seeing me? Okay, I know I'm wasting these eyeballs. This isn't the last time I use it, I swear. I just wanted to make sure that they were dead dead. Uh, this is gonna hit his shoulder, but like if I, if I time it just right, maybe. Oh shit, I did! Oh shit. Here they come. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop using my bow and arrow for once. Cause I'm waste oh shit. Fuck. It's the spear. You can't jump backwards with a spear. Uh, why was I crouching? Yeah, come on. Fight me. Not. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm just getting my ass handed. I can't fight multiple enemies. That's my biggest weakness. I can't fight multiple enemies at once. Especially when one has a goddamn spear. Come on. Trying to get behind me. Come on, just die already. Not you. There we go. I can handle a bunch of schmucks with a with a bunch of clubs. Okay, these choo choos are getting annoying. They're getting too close for comfort. There we go. Oh shit! Damn, die already. Fuck. Okay. Okay, we got the... Actually, hold on. Because I do have some of these pictures, but they're not the best pictures. Um, drop this. Pick this up. Uh, destroy fused material. Drop. That way we can take a better photo of the Traveler Sword. So this is what I was talking about. I think in the last video about the decay, like this is also like what they were mentioning in the diary. Like, look at the sword or the blade. It's all fucked up. Okay. Uh let's take a photo of this before we get it. Oh man. Actually, let's put it in the light. Wooden shield. This lightweight, simple shield is ideal for less experienced fighters. It can withstand uh light attacks, but blocking stronger blows. Is not recommended. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it can't be worse than that, is it? It is. Okay. Well, it's new, so it'll balance things out. <laughs> um, I already took a photo of this, right? I I did not. I <laughs> this is the one I got from that stat that 
I don't know, black shadow thing? Okay, travel spear, sparkles. Is it special because it has sparkles on it? Let's take a photo of the wooden stick, just because it's a better picture of the wooden stick. Yeah, so I did take a photo of like all my weapons and stuff. Um, but they're not that good. Um, where were they all camping out? They were all camping out over here. So let's go uh, mess up their stuff. And then we're going to head on out to Kakariko Village. <laughs> Arrows. Okay, good. And now you? Yeah. My my all my stuff is starting to get low. Um I could again, I could just make a cart. Like a cart would be so convenient cuz I could just go around, but I don't have anything that can control it. I know as soon as I make it, it's just going to go in a straight line and that's it. Oh, can I compendium you from here? Almost. It's not a good picture, but it's it'll do for now. Because, like, my... Because how I'm going to do the compendium is that if I can take a photo of something, even if it's a bad photo, I'll take it so that it's in the compendium. That way, I have less pressure on getting a good photo of it later. Um, and where the hell am I? I am over here. I'm going... Actually... Actually, I would have to be going this way. I'm trying to remember my to the topography of fucking Hyrule. So... So this the the this is where we start usually, and then we go straight this way. This is the this is the river that cuts through the Twin Peaks. So let's follow. We'll follow this road down until we get over here. So I haven't been over here. So this is all going to be new to me. Um, I probably should grab a horse. If I see a wild horse, I'll grab it. Even if it's a crap. Am I going the? Yes, I'm going the right direction. Um. Yeah. We'll kill any monsters that come our way, but we'll try to be a little bit more strategic. And by that, I mean I'm going to try to not be so stupid. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll come across a horse stable. If we come across a horse stable, we'll be able to, to bind a horse to our very being. Hopefully. What is that over there? What is this? What the hell is this over here? Or is this? Is it, is it just ruins? I just... Because it doesn't look familiar to me. I'm going to be investigating anything that doesn't... Oh! Wait, is this... Oh, okay. I keep forgetting how close we are to Hyrule Castle. We're like in central Hyrule. It's just... It's, it's so jarring to me because we usually start our adventure, you know, here. You know, by the wild, blah, blah, blah. Um... So it's just, yeah. Though, if the road, if the road goes in a straight line, I could, because I do have some fans. Because I do want to, I do want to build a cart. But at the same time, it's kind of impractical. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to build one. Wrong button. Wrong button. And ultra hand. And hoop. Oh. You know, four wheels, make a cart. Wrong. Uh, this way. Uh-huh. There we go. And one more wheel. I mean, I guess, yeah, I could always just hop off and readjust it, but, like, it just, it just seems like such a waste of time. Okay. So now we'll take this, and we will... Well, there's people on the road, so actually we will, well... Uh, fuck the people on the road. And how many fans we have? We have eight, so we can use one for this. Wrong button.
Okie dokie. Also, we don't have a lot of energy. That's another thing. That's another... We don't have that much energy. We have the basic a number of energy. So I don't think we'll get far, even if this thing will go. I am so disappointed right now. It's not even moving. Why is it not moving? Why are you not moving? Did I construct you wrong? It's not moving. So either I fucked up in the construction or uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I we're almost halfway through this recording session and we've done nothing. <laughs> we like we got we have to make some sort of progress. So we're I'm just going to I'm going to book it. And if I come across a horse, I come across a horse. If I don't, then I guess I'm walking all the way. But I'm pretty sure I'll come across like at least one horse and a few goblins like this one over here i'm not gonna use my bow he's he seems to be all alone um we're going to use you know what fuck it we're gonna use this where do you think you're going <laughs> you got a rock you thought you could stop me with a rock sad to say it's not how that played out I mean, like, that was just sad. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? What the hell is that? What is, why is the tree moving? What in the hell is that? Uh, excuse me? Compendium? Ever mean. That thing is, like, Jesus Christ. Zoom out. Take a photo of that. What the fuck? An Evermean? We're fighting trees now? <laughs> Evermean? Okay. Evermean? Okay, you- that, that was ineffective. Um, okay, tree. Uh, fire. Uh, fire. Fire. Yes! Fire. Oh, shit, shit, shit! I- Fuck. I was- Oh, my reaction time is piss poor. Oh, I got more eyeballs, though. Can I... Oh, shit. Okay, so now the trees, even the trees of Hyrule want to fucking kill us. No, come back! Come back! Damn it. Okay, so... Uh, Chickaloo Tree Nut. Can I compendium these? Eh, I figured I wouldn't... You can't compendium them in Breath of the Wild, which is weird. I mean, I know you don't use them for anything, but... Oh. My God. Are you fucking kidding me? I literally just killed a fucking tree, and you're about to resurrect it. That's just rude. Okay, I'm getting the fuck out of here. There's a tower off in the distance. I think I might just activate that to get the lay of the land here. I'm getting out of here before that tree gets back up, because that's just rude. I'm not fighting that tree again. There we go. The blood moon has risen, and now we're getting the fuck out of here. I thought I saw a mushroom over here. I guess I was wrong. Oh, no, mushroom. Oh, and a Hylian pine cone. Okay, we're going to look at that in a second here. Actually, I'm going to take a compendium photo of it. Yeah, it can be compendiumed. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at it real quick. Uh, grows... On trees found all over Hyrule, it contains oil and burns well. Throw it into a fire to increase the intensity of the flame. Okay. Alright. 
All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so now, I guess, now I have to look out for killer trees. I'm sorry, I'm not getting over that. Killer trees? I've never even heard of an Evermean. Is that a new enemy, or is that another, like, enemy from old Zelda that they brought over here? Oh, there's a shrine over there. Uh, let's pin it. Bung. And I might as well pin this tower just to see how far it is from me. Because, oh, okay, that tower's not that far. And it's, like, literally... Oh, wait, no. Pfft, I'm an idiot. That... The tower's all the way over here. That That's the shrine I literally just did. Uh... You know, we're on we're on a mission to Hateno Village. I don't think we're going to make it there by the end of this video. So we're just going to... We're going to hit up this shrine and we're going to make it as far as we possibly can. We will return. Because if we hit up that shrine, it'll basically save our progress in this land. And yeah, there's, there's an outpost right there. But, like, I'm kind of low on good weapons like all i like all i have in the bow section is boku bows and i'm not confident in that since the blood moon rose i might go back to the sky islands and see if i can't farm up some construct bows and shit like that but we'll see oh jesus tap dancing christ you scared me yeah there we go that broke I'm pretty sure this old wooden bow is stronger than these, um, but I, the sorting thing sorts them as weaker. So. Who am I to judge? Oh, there's another tower over there. I'm going to pin that as well. That one looks like it's in the Faron region. E no, Faron region is over here. The Faron forest. This is the south area. I can't remember his name. Um... Yeah, but we're definitely not going there anytime soon. Um, and I definitely want to hit up these shrines as quickly as I possibly can. Um, because I need to get my stuff up. There's another shrine over there. Uh, I can't get a good line of sight on it. And it's close. Wait, what? Oh, it's you. Hey. Ah, I got separated. Where is your friend? Oh, he's way over there. Okay. Yeah. I might... I might take him to his friend. Maybe. Because it seems to go in the direction of that shrine. Let's do this real quick. Combat training throwing? Are you serious right now? This shrine purifies the ancient evil you have entered here. Heed my instructions. Steady your aim, then throw the weapon at the enemy. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Yes. So basically, it wants me... I'm just going to throw this at you. Oh, does it want me to throw my weapon? Fine. You can take this. It's badly damaged. Well done. Watch the enemy's movements and throw the weapon carefully. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need one of you. A rusty halberd. Rusty pole arm, likely used by knights from an age of the past. The spearhead is in bad shape due to prolonged exposure to the elements, so its durability is low. Okay. Got him! You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Sure thing, boss. Um... Let me just get a photo of these real quick for my collection. There we go. Yeah. And I'll also take one for the road. It's not that effective, but I literally just used up my axe. So I'm taking this. 
It's my souvenir. It's a shitty souvenir, but it's my souvenir. Taking that. There was a ladder this whole time. I could have just climbed up here and and destroyed him. Oh, construct bow. Sweet. I needed a good bow. Oh, and the treasure chest. Ooh la la. A zonite spear. A zonite spear made of zonite. Uh, well, drop this one, obviously. Um, it resonates with attached zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh my god, look at it. It's so cool. Let's drop it, though. So I can compendium it. Uh, this is a good angle. There we go. There we go. And then I'm actually going to... Hold on. Mm, I don't use spears that much, so I'm not going to use a, a good one. We'll just use one of this because we have a lot of them. There we go. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. May the god may the goddess smile upon you. All right. So now, where is that little Korog guy? He's literally out here. Where is he? Oh, he's literally over there. Okay. So wrong button. No. Wait, what is that? What's that? What is that? Oh, wait. Oh, it's a rock. It's a platform. Oh, is this a skateboard, my dude? It's got wheels on it. Can we, like, ride the waves? So, we got this, and we got this, so I'm assuming, like, 1 plus 1 equals 2 here, and then we take it over here. We put it here. Actually, maybe maybe that was my problem with the other one. Maybe I put it the, the fan too low. There, yeah, let's put it higher. Maybe that was my problem. Oh, yeah, see, if you try to get him before talking to him, he'll be like, ah... Which I think is like, whatever. Yeah. Okay, let us take this little guy. Let's stick him on the front here. And bada boom. Here we go. Okay, we're going the wrong direction. See, this is what I mean, like we need something to control it. Okay. I think I know what the problem is. No, come back. Oh my god. Stop. Oh my god, this thing... What the actual fuck? Bro. I literally turned it off, so I don't know how it's moving. I literally don't know how it's moving. This is annoying. I decided carrying him was the quickest way. I tried to use that that thing, that skateboard thingy. I tried. I tried. But oh my god, it handles either either I have no clue how to handle like I thought it might be like the wing and I need to stand on one like side to make it turn. And it seems like that's the case, but it like with the fan, it moves so fast that it changes, like, it turns faster than I can, like, get into the center. And, like, it was just going all over the place. So, literally, this was the quickest way. Like, trying to use that thing to come over here was, it was so cumbersome. Like, I just gave up. Because, I, like, I tried. I really tried. But I ran into, like, four tree monsters before just giving up. Ugh. And there's a shrine over here. So let's, uh, do this. 
then uh, we can go pray at the goddess. The shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Okay. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Excuse me? Are you even tied eyeling in me right now? Providing grounds. Beginner. Okay. So I got this, this, this. That's sad. Um. Wait, do I have... Oh, I have literally nothing. I don't even have arrows. The bow is useless. Um. Um. Constructs. Yeah. Okay. I'm so gonna die 100%. Because I... I'm gonna die. Yep, that's that's just um how the cookie crumbles. Um oh actually I'm gonna take this. No, not that. But uh if you give me a second to to maneuver around you guys, I can take that. And then Oh fuck me. Wait, I don't even have my food, do I? I don't have my food. So I'm literally doing this at four hearts. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. If I can flurry rush, they're dead. Like, if I can perform a... If I can execute, I mean. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna take this. And then... I'm gonna take you out. Fuck. Well, I took him out, so we're good in that hood. So, soldier construct two. Oh shit! I should take photos of you guys. Uh, wrong button. Yeah, I totally forgot. I, I compendium. Uh, that's the soldier construct one. But that was a soldier construct two. Damn. Stop moving! I'm trying to get a good photo of you. No, that's still bad. Oh, I keep forgetting about you. Get the hell out of here! I'm gonna steal that. There we go. There we go. I think that's a better photo. Perfect photo. And I'm, uh... I'm just gonna stab you from... This is... This thing is meek and pathetic. It's useless. I have zero arrows. Great. Um, I know these are probably gonna leave me as soon as I leave this place. I'm gonna take these... Oh! Shit. I have one arrow, so I got one shot. Oh, of course. I got a shield. But the shield's mine now! It's a bad idea, but I'm gonna try to parry. Damn. I didn't parry a single blow. I'm trying to get the timing right. Fuck. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna kill you. I don't have arrows. Uh, I should have changed my weapons. Uh, maybe? Yes. It's just enough to kill you. Oh, there was a fucking thick stick over there I could have used. Your equipment will be returned to you. No, I have to take a photo of the quick... The, the stick. No. No. No! Damn it. I knew it was going to erase all the other equipment. Fuck. Okay. Well, at least we got a picture of the constructs. Or at least one of the constructs. Spring shield. A shield used by Zonai made of Zonai. It lowers energy consumption of an attached Zonai device. Okay. Um, oh shit. Um, let me, um, 
I'm gonna drop this. And let's see what this is again. Like, what power level is it? It's 11. Oh, yeah. I'm taking that. So, it's a spring shield. It's a, spr it's a spring mounted on a Zonai shield. I actually really don't want to disassemble this, but I also want to take a photo of the Zonai shield for the compendium. Luckily, I don't have to disable it, but I'll take a photo of it now. But um, it's not going to be a good photo. I wish I could crouch when taking photos. There we go. So we got the Zonite shield, and it's a pretty powerful one at that. And da 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 da. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. May the goddess smile upon you. Well, it's been almost 50 minutes since we started the recording and we haven't gotten dick done. I mean, we've basically dicked around, but I'm having fun. But, um, let's take a photo of this guy real quick. That's a good photo, too. Yeah, that's a good photo. Awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna get away from him though, because I don't have. Actually, I do. Actually, I do. We'll we'll kill him. We could insta kill him if we have anything ice related. Oh, and there's the Twin Peaks. So we're we're on our way. Okay. Um, wrong button. You. We still have some ice choo choo jelly, right? Yep. Hi. Bye. <laughs> so what is this? Okay, so that's a traveler sword attached to. A ruby. A ruby, sorry. Uh, can't carry more melee weapons. Uh, okay, well this one's about to die, and it's also our fire weapon, so... We got the ruby sword. <laughs> awesome. I kind of wish it would just, like, be, like, the blade was made out of ruby. I know that doesn't make much sense, but that would have been cooler. And there's a chest over here. Ah, Ruby. And I should also take a picture of the treasure chest for the compendium. Not the best picture, but we'll... Because, like, I always forget the compendium exists. Like, I keep... I'm like, oh, I need to do the compendium. I need to do the compendium. But then I constantly forget the compendium even fucking exists. Did I get it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep... We're gonna take this one over that... Um, yeah, okay, so, oh, force B, honey, there we go, which this is going to be, this is going to be so much fun, we have to compendium probably everything that we had to compendium in Breath of the Wild, and then more, because there's more stuff now, I'm going to take this. Okay, they are coming after me. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't. There we go. Yeah, get fucked. Normally I would just bomb them, but I don't have my, you know, bomb ruins. Honey straight from the hive. It's chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential uh, of these nutrients. It provides a stamina recovery effect. I, yeah, I like using the honey for stamina food. Cause it, oh, I didn't know I was walking to... Oh, I was walking to an outpost of blue... Oh, cobblins. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and you're wearing a ugly mud suit. Take a photo of you, at least, so you're in my compendium. Then I'm going to bomb the hell out of you because you look ridiculous. Then I'm going to fly up so that I can. Uh, descend upon your friends and family and take them all out. I didn't take any of them out, but I wonder if I parry with this, what will happen? Oh, the, I didn't parry, but that definitely have happened. Okay. 
Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah. Get out of here. Ah, that's a parry! Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Trying to flurry rush. It's hard to flurry rush when you have, like, three guys trying to get you all at once. Uh, soldier's claymore. Lightweight metal weapon. Forge for royal soldiers. It, It's decayed now, but still easy to wield, so it consumes less stamina during charge attack. Oh, I see. Ow! I just got hit. I was gonna drop a weapon so I can fuck. Okay, never mind. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Ow! He did a forward assault. I should not have jumped backwards. That was my fault. Oh no, my spring shield. It's badly damaged. Kill him. Oh, he's got it now. Okay, come on. I can, I can, I can do this. Oh, I flurry rush. Yeah, if I can flurry rush, I can usually, you know, kill them. Fuck. Okay. Oh. Okay, you're down. And since you have a claymore, you're slow. So I can take a good photo of you. Oh, that's perfect. Pose for me, darling. Yes, that's a perfect photo. Damn, I'm still trying to get the timing down. Why can't I? I used to be so good at this in Breath of the Wild. There we go. I used to be so awesome at this. Now I suck ass. Okay, well, this is damaged. So we'll trade it up for this. Though I have to drop it so I can compendium it. There we go. We'll take this. Blue Bokoblin Horn. A two-prong horn with sharp edges and tips. Attach it to a weapon to modify... To modifyly increase its attack power. Or brew it in an elixir. Uh, right, I should drop... Yes, I have to drop that too because we actually have to compendium items like this. We don't compendium all monster parts, but it seems that it's just the ones that you can attach to arrows and stuff like that. Or attach to weapons in general. Uh, take that. What is this? Oh, that's just a piece, that's a piece of his armor. I can't pick that up. Okay. Ah, oh, Bokoblin Guts. A rare material obtained by defeating a Bokoblin. It convulses on its own very now and then every now and then which is really creepy but perhaps it has a use okay um uh this is a rock hammer okay we're gonna get rid of this oh what we already have a rock hammer well it's a it's a stick rock so it does, it's not gonna be very useful we're gonna drop that we're gonna keep two of these on hand that's just for ores and stuff well actually we can use one for ores since I don't have an axe, we'll use one for ores and one for boxes. We'll use... Yes, I know. My spring shield is badly damaged. Okay. So, let's just grab these boxes. Yeah. Not as effective as an axe, but it's better than wasting a good weapon on that. Um, Yeah, we're out of time for this episode. Uh... Hopefully, we will make more progress towards Hatena Village in the next one. Um, but until then, I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. Bye!